Now let us understand where are we going to observe LCM in our everyday lives. So in this video we are going to learn about the applications of LCM. LCM finds its application whenever there is a fixed periodic cycle. Means certain things repeat after a fixed time interval. To understand this, let us take the example of John Smith and Mary. They all study in a college, but of course in different colleges. And John comes home once every 30 days. Smith comes home once every 45 days. And Mary comes home once every 60 days. They spend one day with their families and return to the college the next day. If they share their neighborhood, after how many days will they be meeting together? That means John comes home once every 30 days, he stays home for one day and then he returns to his college. And all the three study in different colleges and so we should be having this and they study in a college but different colleges, they study in different colleges. and they come home and they stay with their families so you need to find if they all set off for their colleges together after how many days will they meet together will they be meeting together so in order to find this we're going to find the lcm of 30 45 and 60. let us see why but first of all let us see what is the lcm so the LCM of 30, 45 and 60. So we know all, not all, but at least these two numbers are divisible by 2. So 2 15s are 30 and 2 30s are 60. Bring down the 45 as it is. And then 2 15s are 30. Bring down the other numbers as they are. And then none of the numbers go by 2. But 15, 45 and 15, they all go in the table of 3. So we're only going to list down the prime numbers. So 3 5s are 15, 3 15s are 45, 3 5s are 15. And again, 3 5s are 15 and bring down the 5 as they are. And then all the numbers go in the table of 5. So 5 1s are, 5 1s are, 5 1s are. Since we have 1 in the last line, the LCM is the product of all these numbers. So that is 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 5. So 2 2 za is 4, 4 3 za is 12, and 5 3 za is 15. And just multiply 12 and 15. So we have 15 12 za, 5 2 za 10, 1 2 za 2, 3 0, 1 5 za 5, 1 1 za 1. So we have. 108 so all the three of them will be meeting after 180 days so many a times you may be wondering but from where did LCM come so let us modify this question and let us say that um, John is not going to come after let's say 30 days but John is going to come after let's say only three days and Smith is not going to come after 45 days, but let's say after four days. And Mary comes after six days. So now the answer to this would be the LCM of three, four, and six. So in order to understand this, let us write down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll be writing again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And one more time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So again, John comes after 3 days, Smith 4, and Mary 6. So 3, 4, and six so um, John will be coming after three days so he'll be coming on the third of the month 
then 6th of the month, then 9th of the month, then 12th of the month, and so on. And Smith, if I'm not wrong, yeah, Smith will be coming after 4 days. So he'll be coming up on the 4th of the month. So he cannot meet his friend. Then he'll be coming on the 8th. Then he'll be coming on the 12th. So he'll be meeting his friend on the 12th. And um, Mary comes after 6 days. So she'll be coming on the 6th of the month. And then directly on the 12th of the month. So she can meet all the friends with both the friends on 12th. And of course the LCM of 3, 4 and 6 is 12. So they will be meeting after 12 days. So that is the um, meaning of LCM. Then we also have a geometrical interpretation of LCM. So that is, let us take the example. There is a rectangular tile of length 20 cm and breadth 15 cm. A square has to be made using such tiles. What is the minimum dimension of the square? Which means, what is the minimum length of the side of the square? So, what is the meaning of this? There is a tile which is 20 cm long and 15 centimeters wide so there is a tile like this of course this is a rectangle this is not a square and you can use many such tiles but you need to make a square a square shape so i can use one more tile over here which is 20 by 15 and i can use one more tile over here which is 20 by 15 and one more and I can use as many tiles as I want. And then I'll be using the tile over here also. Like this. Which is 20 by 15. And one more over here. And so on. So the question is. What is the minimum length of this side of a square so far? So we can use many such tiles. But. We need to see when a square is formed. Of course, this is a very rough diagram. But you can clearly see that the 20, 20, 20 is 60. And 15 plus 15 is 30. Then 45. And if I use one more tile over here, like this. then this side will also become 60 which is 15 forza and 20 plus 20 plus 20 is also 60 so this particular square so form is a square and the minimum dimension of the square is 60 and from where did the 60 come it is nothing but the lcm of 15 and 20. The LCM of 15 and 20 is 60. So 60 was formed as 20 plus 20 plus 20 and 60 was also formed as 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15. So this is the geometrical interpretation of the LCM of this rectangular tile of 20 by 15. LCM is also used to add or subtract fractions. For instance, we are going to study this in the later part of the course. But right now, since we are, um, we want to know the meaning of LCM and the application of LCM, we are doing this example. Maybe you'll re relate to this example. If you want to add 3 upon 4 and 5 upon 12, what can we do? First of all, we need to convert both of them into equivalent fractions having the same denominator. So what can we do is we can just multiply uh, this 4 by 3 so that it becomes 12 and the 12 is written over here. But for that we also need to multiply a 3 in the numerator also. So both the fractions will have a common denominator of 12. We are going to learn this in the later part of the course but just right now try to understand this. So we are going to add them 
And since now they have a common denominator of 12, we can add the numerators. So 9 plus 5 is 14. So this is 14 upon 12. And then we can simplify this as 2 6 and 2 7 If you're not understanding this, you don't need to worry. We're going to uh, look upon all these things in the later part of this course. So the answer is 7 upon 6. But I just wanted to explain it to you where is this so very much useful. Thanks for paying attention.